All right, here's an example of graphing a cosine curve, a uh, phase shift, and vertical shift. So this first step, we want to identify the A, B, C, and D. A is 1, B is 1, our phase shift, our C is negative, pi over 2, and our D is 1. All right, so we want to calculate the period, of course. So the period is 2 pi over B, B is 1, so the period is 2 pi, so that hasn't changed. The next thing we want to do is graph the pure graph of the cosine with the period of 2 pi. So let's go, let's see, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So we know, uh, we're going to graph the pure graph, so we know that we've got a, let that be 1, a negative 1, a maximum, um, when x is 0, so there's a maximum. We know there's a maximum at the end of the period. We know there's a minimum halfway through the period, so that's at pi. And then we know we've got x-intercepts at a quarter and three-quarters of the way through. And let's just connect those. And then this is the cosine pure graph. All right, so now we get two things to do. So the next thing we're going to do is the phase shift. And yes, it, is, it does matter that you do it in a particular order here. Um, it's, well, it, I guess technically it doesn't matter, it's just easier if you do things right or left before you go up and down. So the third thing we're going to do, and I'm actually going to move that out of there, it's going to be in the way. So the third thing we're going to do, I'll write it down here, is the phase shift. So it's negative, that means it's going to move to the left, and it moves to the left pi over 2. So everywhere there's a critical point, it's going to go to the left pi over 2. So that means this maximum, which is at 0, will now be here at negative pi over 2. This x-intercept moves to the left pi over 2. This minimum moves to the left pi over 2. This x-intercept moves to the left, pi over 2. And this maximum moves to the left, pi over 2. And we're going to connect those. Nice smooth curve here. There we go. Now let's change colors. And then the fourth thing we want to do is we want to do our vertical shift. The whole graph is going to move up, and it's going to move up one. So everything, every critical point is going to move up. So this maximum moves up here. And see how I'm doing the red one? And so this x-intercept moves up here. And this minimum moves up to here. This uh, x-intercept moves up here. And then this maximum moves up here to two. Now I connect those. Okay. Now you see how it's super important that you identify which one is the final process here. No need to erase it. Um, you just you can leave them all right there. It's kind of really nice progression of seeing the pure graph, the phase shift, and then finally, finally with the vertical shift, it moved up. And of course, again, you could graph it in your calculators or check if you wanted to.